welcome back. <laughs> As you can see, I have a guest today. <laughs> yes, this is Camille Anna. She's going to be helping me today. We are going to do something fun and exciting. We are going to be working with a jelly plate. I have just a little five by seven jelly plate. And <clears throat> do you know what ephemera is? Camille, do you know what ephemera is? No? Ephemera is one of those weird things. I always heard ephemera this, ephemera that in mixed media. Ephemera this, ephemera that. Ephemera are all those little bits of pieces of things that you add on to stuff to make it extra pretty. So it could be a piece of collage paper. It could be some roses. It could be, we're going to make ephemera today. I went to, where did I go? To Joanne's, it was going out of business in, in Homa, I think it was. And they had these patterns that were on sale for like a buck a piece. Mm -hmm. Screaming deal, right? Got them. Because I like this with the marks on it. So I've cut it out. To be about approximately five by seven yeah I am not consistent and we're gonna use our jelly plate and we're gonna use we're gonna um, I know how to. open it up baby we're gonna color them we're gonna put paint on it so that we can use it as collage paper for our future projects now we have the whole thing, I cut it up, got the whole thing right here. I also cut up the instructions. Mama. Oh, look, yeah. We got, I've never used this, I've had it for like a year. So, we can leave the bottom part on. It feels so strange. It feels so strange, yes it does. Okay, so I have, a stencil right here. Camille, go pick up some other stencils. Ready to do this. Uh, the stencils are in the stencil book. Uh, the stencil book should be right there. Yeah, right there. I have my stuff on it. Yeah. We have a brayer. And I have all my golden paints. Diazonine purple teal. Uh, Nephthal red light. Permanent green light. Hansi yellow medium. Ultramarine blue. Quinadricone nickel gold, uh, quinadricone crimson, quinadricone red, what? Mars yeah. black, titanium white, and then I have these liquid ones. Those are all heavy body. Now, the liquid ones I have are Hansa yellow light, phthalo green, transparent yellow iron oxide, Payne's gray, transparent pyro orange, green gold, transparent red iron oxide. Cerulean blue, chromium, quinad quinadricone magenta. I cannot pronounce these things to save my life. Ultramarine violet and quinadricone red. Didn't I have that one already? Yeah, I have I have that one in heavy body. So I have it in heavy body and liquid. So I'm gonna pick up the liquid one. And uh there. And we're gonna play. Uh and we're gonna make Oh, I also have handy the color wheel because Camille is going to learn more about color theory. You like that one? She likes this one. One more? One more with circles. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, there's a big one. There's a 12 by 12 with circles on it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, yeah. So we have our color wheel, and uh, she and I are going to refer to our color wheel when we're picking out colors to put on here to make sure we don't make mud. Now, what I really like about golden paints is that some of the colors are transparent, and some of the colors are opaque. So this is transparent and whenever you put it on your uh wait Camille 
wait, you'll see what we're going to do with that. Okay. Patience, child. She's just like me, totally impatient. Whenever you attach this with gel medium to your work, it becomes transparent and you can see through it. So if you have transparent paint, you can see through to what's underneath. So you can have multiple layers and it's a really cool effect. Now, I'm going to take the camera off, put it up there, and we're going to get started. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're back. One of the things I forgot I had, and then I remembered I had, is I have these catalyst tools that create texture in things. So we're going to use those too. So we each armed with a brayer. Camille, what colors would you like to start with? Pick blue green. Blue green. Uh, mm -hmm. So pick a teal. You pick a teal. Now, you don't need very much. What else? What other color? Transparent yellow. Now, look at this. I did. No, 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 no. This. And this will make mud. Because it's kind of. What else? What else? If you go across, it'll make mud. If you go across, it'll make mud. You need to get stuff on the side. Thalo green. Thalo green? Okay. So where are you where you want to put the thalo green? Right here. You want a little white in there? Mm, a little. Try and eat a little. A little bit of white where? Now, take your brayer and start smushing it around. Oop. Start smushing it around. Turn it back and forth, back and forth. Get it all over. Make sure that that paint is all over there. Roll it, roll it, roll it. 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 Roll it, roll it. Don't mix it up. Don't blend it so much. You want to keep some of the different colors separate, right? Now, you could take this and put this here. And you could take this and put that there. And then take this and very gently... Now with your fingers, rub it down. Rub it down. Come on. But watch, don't touch the paint. Get those squares. Each and every one of those little squares. You got it? With the other barrier, right? Got some on there. Oops. Now, very gently, because this can tear, you're going to pull off. Okay? This is mono printing, okay? You're making a single print. See? Uh -huh. Now, what's interesting here is you have some of your single color and you have negative space, right? Okay. You could come here and go. And make a strip, right? And pull up. And then come here and do it again. And pull up. And then have a pattern that you're working with, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, 
We need to put that on the side for it to dry. What happens if I get it done? What you do with this is you pull it up and turn it over. You take a second sheet, put it on, pat it, you can do a, another fold. But what you could do is you could come on this side if you want it. You want to put it down on this side and go You see, if you put it like this, lift this up. Hi. You're so silly. The paint dried on here. It's a fast dryer. Yeah, it's a fresh dryer. You need to move faster. It got off. Some of that came off. See how that came off? So cool. So cool. And then let's do it right here, shall we? Okay. Here, you roll it. Roll it, baby. No. Roll it, baby. <laughs> Don't try not to. Try to put so that the black part doesn't go on the paint. Okay. The lines didn't like me. Okay, now try pulling it up yourself, very gently, so that you know the how you have to pull it up. I got a little bit smudgy. Now, we're gonna leave this paint on, okay? And it doesn't matter, this paint can stay on here. We can go over it and over it and over it and over it and over it again. You wanna do this, you wanna paint this one again? No, you, you like that one just the way it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put that to dry. Now, staying with this color and this color theme, you wanna put a little cerulean blue? Sure. And a little more, a little of this? Yes. Okay. More white, right? Mm -hmm. We like white. What else you want to put? That's a gray. Colors this ultramarine. Um, I think it's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then start rolling it. Roller. Mm -hmm. Now, just very gently roll, but try not. You can roll, roll it faster. Roll it faster so that it doesn't dry, and you can cross it back and forth. That's good. Watch. Let me. Like that. Now, let's get. Uh, you want this one? Put it where you want. Wherever you want. Wherever you want. Now, get get your paper. Put it on top. Do it. You want to do two paste pieces of paper? Because they're kind of small. Here, roll it. Use your finger. Now go to the side, go to the side. Okay. Okay. Left the paper. Left the paper. You like those? That that one I really like. And this you one like too. this one? Look, look, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so we let put these on the side. Let's just keep going. Pull, pull this, on, pull this off. Get the paper. Get another piece of paper. Put this on. Oh, oh. 
roll it. Roll it. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see if I can get any off of this. Any ghost off of that. Yeah. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, I got it. Okay. Paint dried. Look how pretty. Okay. Now. Watch. Little ghosty. Hold on. Let me see if I can get any of that paint. Cool scaly texture. Mm-hmm. It's got a cool scaly texture. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're just gonna play and we're gonna uh kind of speed this up and we're gonna play music while we're doing this. And um I'll take this off because I should have probably done that to begin with. Uh oh. you can listen to music. Two, we're going to be playing music for you. So, uh, y'all enjoy it. Thank you. 
was an all day project. Camille abandoned me in the middle of it. I did three sheets using white through a stencil. Well, almost white <laughs> for that one. It kind of turned yellow. Camille wanted to do a black and white kind of theme. She used Payne's Gray, which turned out a little bluish. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I did a lot with the transparent colors of Love these, love these. Doing marks in them. You see, doing marks. This is a this is a, a sheet. Through stencils. And I, and I sorted them into colors to mostly colors as best as I could really quickly. Did a lot with this because I love oranges. Oranges are one of my orange and yellow favorite colors. They just scream happy to me. I just had fun all afternoon playing with this. making different patterns. And they dry really quickly. This one was an interesting one. The yellows and blacks. Yellows, orange, and white. And I like how you have the pattern marking. Let me come in tight. So you can see. Through the paper, like right here, it just shows through. Some of the paint is opaque, and some of it isn't. Second pulls, third pulls. Look how interesting. The different sides. This one I think is really interesting with the the drops of paint. I got some teal colors going.
can even, you know, anything that tears off, you can just keep because you can just use that because I plan on tearing these anyway whenever I'm using it. Gorgeous. Just, ah. It's just amazing to me. Some dark, some light. And then we come to blues and purples. Wiggly lines. There's a heart right here that formed with the paint whenever I dropped it. There's a, some brown that was in another piece, leftover paint from before. Camille made this pattern with the catalyst. I did a lot of this pale purple using this one stencil. Look how interesting. And that came out. This was red, white, and blue, and magenta. Put a little swirl in there. Just a red through the stencil to make dots. This is the last part that I did. Like I did the white. The magenta. <clears throat> right here. Coming along. Putting in patterns while I was working. More pink color, a more salmon y color right here. And squares that I mixed red with white. I blended together. interesting on something or other. Look at that. Teal on that side. That on that side. So, I got a lot of work done today. I am really, really happy with what I got accomplished. I will be able to put this in my ephemera drawer and I just have lots of papers to just draw from no matter what color scheme I plan on working with. I'm just really pleased. So, uh, oh wait, there's another one. Ah, look how pretty that is. Goes in the blue. And another one. Ah, goes in the purple. Ah. Any more? No. That's it. Good day's work, I see. So now I can relax. 
I hope you have a great weekend and happy crafting. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Come back and visit us. You never know what you're going to see around here. And in case you were wondering where the pink flamingo was, happy pink flamingo Friday. Yay! Bye!